Hi, in a previous video we have talked about images, how to arrange them, how, how to anchor them, how to align them and today we are talking how to wrap uh, the image uh, when uh, there we have some text. So we have this image, we have this text and let's see what options do we have. Let's go to wrap, edit and let's see uh, how uh, the image behave. Wrap off means that we don't want any text um, left or right of the image. Okay, so we have the image. We want the image to be uh, by itself on that line. If we anchor to page when we move the project, the image will stay where it is. So for these cases where we have a, a image about a paragraph, we need to anchor them by uh, a paragraph. So this is none. Let's go to wrap before. So the image is on the right and the text is just on the left. Let's see. So we don't have any text on the left, uh, on the right. Let's uh, have some space here between text and image. Let's have one everywhere. So, as I said, in this case, we have, um, uh, let's change. So the image on the right and the text on the left. Only on the left. Let's change. Let's change after. The text is after the image. So the image on the left, the text only, only after, only on the right. Let's see another one. Parallel. I don't like this, but let's see. Uh, we have text left and right. Maybe it could be useful when we have something small like that, but it's very hard to read the text in with this option. True. So the image is above and uh, could be very useful when we have maybe an icon or an image uh, we could move uh, near the text. Okay, so, or something like that. It's very near to the text and it's the only options that we have in order to uh, put them together. An optimal, meaning LibreOffice is trying to create an optimal form. Uh, you can have the text uh, here um, and you can improve that. For example, let's uncheck contour. Uh, also, we can check first paragraph. Let's see. Let's create some paragraphs. So this is paragraph two and this is paragraph three. So on the first paragraph, I have a uh, wrap, but no, over there is moving down, but not wrapping around the text. Let's create a paragraph one a bigger. So we have two paragraphs now. If I'm moving, you could see I have no text from the paragraph two on the right, but I have just from the first paragraph because I checked that. I checked first paragraph. Let's uncheck that. And now I have the same thing from any paragraph in the text. Let's uncheck on tour. So I have a, a line here. Everything looks much better. And the same thing if I check a first paragraph. Let's go to see what we have in background. We have the image, um, something like a background um, behind the text. Could be useful when we have maybe an icon or a logo or something else and uh, could be uh, useful for these cases. Let's cancel that. So 
let's see what option do you do we have so uh, it's very important to choose what we need depending on what we like and how we want our project to look like but it's very important to know what options do we have okay so uh, play with that play with wrap play with uh, other tools in libreoffice and try to learn how they uh, work in order to use them in your project uh, thanks for watching um, please subscribe for more video uh, thank you